everyone. Welcome to another inspiring episode of The Roadless Trap. He started off as a product executive in a pharma company, but the entrepreneur in him refused to be complacent. It's the story of Naveen Desai from product executive in a pharma company to an owner of Archish IVF Center Bangalore and a co-author of Making Babies, the IVF Way. Hi, Naveen. Hi, Lena. Pleasure, pleasure here. Same here. So, uh, Naveen, I mean, uh, you have been a product executive in a pharma company. We were together, rather. And um, yes. now you started off an IVF center. How you made this leap possible? Well, quite a factually, this question brings back a lot of memories. Yeah. You know, uh, when I go back down that memory lane, I'll tell you. So, uh, post my, uh, you know, double master's in Australia, uh, I started working as a clinical research associate, uh, followed by uh, product management in 2008 in India, okay, in Bombay rather. And uh, however, like, you know, every day I work for it, I always felt that I need to do something different, not this. Yeah. So finally, in 2014, when I was, you know, uh, uh, building up a gynecology division for my then company, I came across this fascinating science of, of forming life in an embryology laboratory. And that actually just blew me away. Okay. That's when I thought, okay, this is something that I want to do. You know, you get that inner voice. I don't know, but it just said that this is, this is it. Okay. So, uh, and that time I was 30, right? So I wanted to do something properly. This time I couldn't take a chance. So I did a lot of uh, background research. One aspect which, you know, emerged you know, unanimously was, uh, you know, uh, the sky is the limit. And, um, you know, so I applied uh, to the UK, uh, which is the birthplace of embryology. And for the next 12 months, uh, I completely dug my head into the books, focused into embryology, um, lived actually like a miser, but came out victorious. Uh, I have a, a paper in my name in the prestigious journal of human reproduction, which is the best journal in, uh, you know, ART or the IVF space, uh, followed by, I came back to India before I knew, you know, I was heading a small uh, IVF chain uh, present across India as the head of embryology. And then I took up operations of that place also, uh, along with my wife. So I had a good, uh, you know, support uh, from my wife as well. So, uh, but again, there was always a thought, you know, um, what next? Because now that both of us were heading this chain, we thought that this is it. Mm. Uh, so it got got us thinking. And we basically then came to a conclusion that uh, we, sh we always wanted to give back to the society. So we started this online portal uh, by the name of achishfertility.com. Okay. And, uh, you know, invested in the marketing of it, you know, uh, put a lot of educational matter in it so that uh, not just... Uh, you know, the struggling couples, but also our peers could, you know, gain some insights from it. Uh, but come COVID, it got us thinking one more step ahead. We thought, why not take this to the next level? And why not start our own IVF clinic and impart this knowledge uh, very loudly and, you know, without any, uh, you know, uh, hiccups or without any approval needed from anybody else. So then our dream, uh, which we started, say, in COVID, it was kind of in process by January, you know, uh, 2021. Uh, you know, I, Archish IVF fertility uh, was, you know, initiated and that's there. So uh, I don't know whether call it dream, call it aspirations, but uh, I can tell you one thing, you know, uh, after experiencing it, I am a, you know, great believer or a staunch believer of the fact that when you feel strongly about something, go after it, pursue it. You know? That's that's the point. So uh, you have seen the marketing side for almost seven years, you said, and uh, you have learned embryology. So you know the technical side also. So how do you connect the dots? So you know as much as I do, uh, when we worked into product management, you know, before we either launched or when we came out with any say product brand we did a lot of background work well life's the same you know this is also a product that we are sort of you know kind of getting it to the market 
So we did uh, the same amount of, uh, say, research. We understood the, uh, we analyzed the market, we understood the potential of the market. Uh, but the most important thing, since this is not a green ocean or you know, a blue ocean strategy or an innovative part, you know, the most important aspect which helped me was to find the gaps. Okay. And that is exactly what we did. And those are s- some of the USPs that, you know, are, uh, you know, different in Archish IVF than others. And our competitors are actually seeing that. For instance, you know, we have the, uh, probably the countries, the India's first complete see-through IVF laboratory, wherein, okay. you know, couples can see their process standing outside the laboratory. Okay, that, that just gives them another level of confidence in their own, uh, you know, self, as well as in their journey of, you know, IVF. Along with that, means that is not the only thing. The, uh, you know, IVF clinic is spread across, say, 5,500 square feet flat ground. So, uh, why? Because it just makes it easier to operate, uh, you know, uh, helping you troubleshoot any matter as such, you know. Uh, so it's spacious. Uh, it is, you know, transparent. So it's giving more confidence to people. And uh, in addition, it is designed in such a way that the couples are already stressed out about their process. So we have made it look less like a a clinic or a hospital and more like their everyday routine. It looks more like an office only, you know, so it just makes it part of themselves, you know, Uh, and it's got a good balance of, uh, you know, green elements, you know, light for freshness, if you see, um, and uh, it's just not a standard clinic. So So it's a good mix. Making it transparent itself is a beautiful idea and seeing your baby coming to life, it actually makes your parent at that very moment. So that's a that's a beautiful idea. And apart from being strategic, it is very emotional. What have been the challenges? And uh, though it's been, I think you'll be completing almost one year, but any milestones that uh, you would like to highlight? Well, definitely, yes. Uh, so coming to the challenges, uh, firstly, it could be considered as an opportunity and a challenge, you know. It's the same, it means they go hand in hand. Uh, firstly, we did not have a family, you know, backup professionally in the medical industry, uh, okay, to give us a head start. Secondly, as mentioned uh, earlier, this was not a new offering to the market, okay. So that was a big, big challenge for us. Like, you know, when there are so many IVF centers mushrooming outside, it was not something which is new that you're coming up with. Uh, It's like the same thing, like, you know. And thirdly, most important is we decided to come outside our comfort zone. Okay, we decided to come to Bangalore. You know, being from Bombay, it was completely a new geography altogether. So, um, and as far as milestones are concerned, uh, okay, starting from Jan 2021, you know, we were uh, faced with the second wave. So it did kind of rock the market a little bit. But uh, since then, we've seen at least uh, you know a few hundreds of couples here, out of which we have. Uh, yeah, so which which is good, and we've we've uh, conducted the IVF process uh, on more or less fifty percent of these couples, and a good part about this is uh, our success rates have not dropped. So our success rates have always been what we assumed it to be, and above the global uh, benchmarks, which is between about sixty four to sixty seven percent. So, um, so the the reason why we've been able to achieve this is since uh, you know there are multiple factors. A uh, we've worked before, we've seen the gaps. So we understand that not one size fits all philosophy. Correct. Correct. So we customize things as per the couple needs. Yeah. So it not only gives them confidence that yes, this is achievable. Second, uh, you know, it's not necessary to have the same, you know, protocol or the same commercial angle also to every couple. Why? Because wherever possible, we reduce that commercial angle so that that stress on that couple goes down. What is your vision as a co-founder of Archish IVF that that will facilitate uh, the whole Indian consumer market for infertility? So, well, to say as a standardization. So, that is something that we want to achieve. Okay, That is where we have started. That's why my thought process is first, the consumer should also help themselves by gaining some insights or reading about this before. Second, 
the ivf clinics should have standardization in place why because this will only help the two hands to clap together properly yeah. okay so uh, you know uh, in the sense standardization with the protocols standardization uh, with the commercials everything is more important that is what we pay most attention at uh, archish ivf so not just the lab is transparent but our commercials are transparent our communication is transparent so the aspect of something being hidden away or you know coming as a hidden surprise that element is you know waved away so that reduces that burden and the couple is more confident and more approachable towards the clinic and vice versa so that's what we want to build up and that's how the entire ivf ecosystem will actually uh, you know work towards a good cause i feel that was um, that really love this idea of making transparency of the process as uh, identity of your uh, clinic or ivf facility how did you like navin's story do share with us in the comment section and for more inspiring stories uh, do follow genexperiment